Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono's Place for Sona 5 Royal. Today we're gonna go hang out with Mishima, not Oya, oh yeah, and get him closer to being maxed out. We could also hang out with the twins tonight, but I think we'll finish up as many confidants as we can. Are there any shops down here that I should worry about? I know this is the crane game. Oh, there's, a, there's the video game shop. But I already bought everything there, didn't I? I think I did. Made a decision? Yeah, I did. Okay. I never haven't played any of them. Okay, let's go hang out with Mishima and get him going. He's rank seven, I think we saw, right? So we only got like three more ranks left. Or three more hangouts left. Because he he levels up pretty much oh, automatically as you do requests. Sorry. sorry, one sec. And that was from Aki Yamakun. He said he wants to wants me to stop by. Apparently, he's pretty close. It's kind of serious. Um, I don't think we sh should ignore him. Can you come with me? I mean, yeah. Huh? Akiyama-kun. Mishima. Ugh, there's our guy. Look, Akiyama-kun says he's not going to be able to pay up this month. How about you spot him? That's what friends are for, right? Friends? Uh, you guys ain't friends. Don't try messing with us, Akiyama. This loser's supposed to be a friend who is gonna help you. If you don't do any, if you don't got anything to do with this little bitch, Akiyama, it's just you get out of here. Come on, Toru. Looks like we're just gonna have to have a nice chat with this that girlfriend of his. Please, no, I'm begging you. Sorry, but you broke our promise. Now she's gonna be the one pay for, pay us back if you catch my drift. All right, grab the knife. This is just what you get for trying to screw us over. I mean, we can stab Akiyama too, but at the same time, we're stabbing the other two. <laughs> You're so cruel, Yuta kun. <sighs> Akiyama kun. No, run. I'm not leaving. <laughs> Are you sure? I don't want to get you to get you involved, though. Having you was definitely reassuring. I think I have an idea. It's risky, but it might just work. If anything happens to me, take care of Akiyama kun. No. no? Hey, guys! Oh, crap, I bit my tongue. Uh, you still here? Run away, you idiot! Uh, you better not... You better lay off Akiyaku. I've been taking a video of this whole conversation. Huh? If you do anything to Akiyama or his girlfriend, I'll bring it straight to the police. Oh, and don't get any ideas about back breaking my phone. It's backed up to the cloud automatically. Hey, what should we do? We'll be fine. The police ain't gonna do shit because of this stupid little video. Why don't you run along home to your anime girls? We don't got time to deal with losers like you. Uh, they're the real losers. No, you're right. I know I'm right. Huh? What the hell? You look, I know you guys are supposed to be tough and all, but are you sure it really is really worth getting arrested again over something like this? I mean, this video is definitely enough to get you guys busted again for your previous criminal records. How'd you know about that? Doesn't matter how, just leave Akiyama kun alone and we'll be even. Then, if you keep your word, I'll delete the video. The backup, too. You'll delete them now. N no y yuta -kun? Tch, I've had enough of this shit. <sighs> Man, I thought I was gonna have a heart attack. My whole act would have been would have broken down if they didn't actually if they didn't back off when they did. <laughs> they really suck, huh? Uh you know, it'll be nice. You were super cool. Huh? You think? No, not really. Even though I peed in my pants a little? Mishima, you don't gotta tell me that shit. The truth is, I've dealt with enough bullying, bullying to know guys like that have probably been arrested at least once. <laughs> oh, and thanks for sticking by me, Noah. You can't, we can't let injustice like that go unchecked. I think I get it now. This feeling is what made me want to help you guys to begin with. That's why I started the fan site. To make sure that nobody has to go through stuff like this again. Mishima seems extra motivated. Okay, now Mishima, go talk to Akiyama's girlfriend. You All got right. this. <sighs> Akiyama-kun, are you okay? It looks like they really laid into you. Mishima, why'd you help me? Huh? You didn't need to get involved. So sorry. Sorry. It looked like you were in really, in really in trouble though, so I stepped in. That's so. Anyways, can you walk? Do you need me? To, you need us to call an ambulance? 
I'm fine. Just go. Oh. All right. Come on, Noah. Well, see you later. Yeah, bye. That was a fun use of my evening. Oh, Noah, sorry, are you kidding to talk right now? I mean, sure. The panic is finally kicking in. I'm shaking so bad, I need to talk to someone. Hey, you think I'll be okay? What if those guys secretly follow me home? Oh, but I have a model gun I got for self-defense, and my security system's top of the line, so I'll be, I'm safe, right? Uh, you've got this, man. Calm the fuck down. Uh, what? You're not even gonna help? I can't face these guys alone! They're gonna tear me apart and destroy me! Oh, uh, for some reason I feel really calmer going, get, after getting to yell a bit. Anyways, uh, I'm exhausted. I wish I could just crash, but I gotta do some research on these guys. Uh, and I have to mod the fan side too. I'm gonna... I'm looking at like an old, another all-nighter. Uh, thanks for listening though. Alright. Bye. Hi! Hi! Thank you for the Mastakari. See you later, alligator. Get her to make that as often as possible. Uh, well, they're probably gonna close down after he gets arrested, you think? Or maybe Haru can step in, right? And then I can marry into that fortune. Hey, did you hear? The sports meet went pretty great. The way they overcame all the odds and made it to the victory stand, it was like something out of a movie. Yeah, they put on a stellar performance this time. They must have been training really hard. It's nice to see some see more people with smiles on their faces. Wait, you actually went to watch? Seriously? I get what you mean, though. Maybe I'll go and cheer for them, too. I mean, you can go and watch. If you have the time, and you're into that sort of stuff. This one's important! Apparently, the, this post was made by someone with ties to the banks and the finance sector. The target this time is a guy who never pays back his loans. It sounds like he might be involved in organized crime, too. He could be dangerous. Sounds interesting. Right? Apparently, even the police are having trouble catching him. He keeps changing his name and appearance to elude them. I guess he's basically the man of a hundred faces. Not bad, huh? According to one particular post, he's currently going by the name Fumio Akisu. I went ahead and made a warning post about it. Is that okay? Either way, I'm sure it'll be easy for the Phantoms. Oh. Okay, but if it's a fake name, is that going to work? Like, I don't have to worry about a name? Okay. Interesting. Who wants to hang out? Alright, stay calm. Are you busy? What are you doing today? Uh, that depends. What is everyone doing today? I think we're hanging out with Makoto. That sounds about right. Cody, you're like rank 5, right? Why am I even bothered che checking, right? Because there's no way Futaba is actually even close to the rank. Because we haven't hung out with her other than once. So, yeah, it's it's Makoto or no one. Well, no, that's not true. If it wasn't Makoto, it'd be Futaba. And if it wasn't Futaba, it'd be Shinya. Yeah. So let's go hang out with Makoto. Yeah, I'm coming, yes, I know. Oh wait, didn't I need Max Charm stat for this? I mean, I already have Max Charm stat. So <laughs> max Combat, huh? St charm stat, there we go. But, like, well, I'm still kind of annoyed by that. This was like a month ago I was working on you, and you were like, oh no, you need to be charmering her. Yeah, let's go hang out. Thank goodness, I'll contact Aiko. Shall we go? Let's meet at the diner, as I mentioned before. Yo, my name is Tsukasa. I heard all about you from Aiko. So I heard you're the student council prez, Makoto-chan? I totally wish I could be one of your council members. Uh, oh, Oh, um... yes, uh, totally. The uh, four eyes here is your boyfriend, yeah? Y yes Huh, looks like you guys don't get along too good, though. It's like the... it's like your love level's rock bottom. Are you seriously dating? Uh, we're fighting right now. We're just started. Love comes in many forms. Well, right, he doesn't really like it when I get all clingy with him. 
No, I get it. You just don't get uh, any affection toward compared to you. Just don't get any affection compared to us. Okay. Uh huh. Hey, babe. Did you do something special today? I don't remember you looking this sexy. Oh, Sukasa. <sighs> I have to use the bathroom. Later, lovebird. Excuse me. Um, something like they asked you. Are you serious about pursuing a relationship with Aiko? I was wondering when our honored student was gonna show her true colors. Never mind, Zaku said you were real pumped about getting to know me. Why's that, huh? I just want to make sure you're good for her. Damn, girl, you really care about your friends. Good stuff. I, I was always say, friends are like super important shit. Speaking of which, a friend of my girlfriend is totally a friend of mine. How about you to uh, tell me your digits? <laughs> What's wrong? Come on, give me your number. I would not give him your number. I, um... Uh, yeah. Don't back off. Nobody asked you for eyes. Anyways, that goes already gave me yours, Mocha Chan. Be good. Hmm. I do have one more question to ask. You're not going to bring Aiko to your club, are you? What, you suspect me? I wouldn't dream of it. It's a damn shame people think us hosts are all just flirts. But my love with Aiko is pure as snow. Don't twist the story. Is something wrong? Yeah, I'm about to beat the shit out of your boyfriend. Oh, I was just getting to know your little friend here, honey. Well, I should get going. I gotta be at work soon. Me too. Bye. Hmm. I hope he's not tricking her. But no matter what I think, I might think I still don't have any proof. And above all, Iko seems really happy. Am I just getting in the way of their happiness? Uh, no. You're just being considerate. I suppose so. I mean, I really am worried about Iko here. And in the end, I know this is just a hunch, but my father always stressed how important it is to trust hunches. Seems like the house has sent me something already. What's that supposed to say? It's full of emojis. It's me, Tsukasa, heart emoji. I know we just met, but I couldn't wait to phone emoji you. I'm so happy to be friends with you, Makoko, Mako, Moko chan, Mako chan, Mako chan, whatever. Clap emoji, clapping emoji, heart springs emoji, heart springs emoji. That was barely a coherent sentence, but I'll need to get used to that if I'm going to help Aiko. Thank you very much. By the way, I'm glad you were here with me. I would have totally panicked that I had I been alone. Honestly, the spies how immature I can be sometimes. But I'm working through that with your help, so thank you. You want me to show you how to block his number? All right. Shall we go? We should get going. I'll let you know if anything else comes up. All right then. Goodbye. Hi, Alex. Thanks so much for everything today. I feel strangely exhausted. It reminds me of when we first went, uh, went to the red light district. Even after we split ways, the host kept sending me messages. He uses these weird symbols. I have no idea what he's saying. I want to ignore him, but I shouldn't for Iko's sake. You're allowed. Yeah, yeah. You're allowed to ignore him. Like <laughs> I was literally just about to say that. Uh, so yeah, you're allowed to ignore him. Really? Okay, if you say so. Thanks for the advice. I'll try to stop overthinking it. You're allowed to block him too. I just can't shake these doubts about Aiko's boyfriend. Uh, I, I can't tell if he's a bad guy, but he doesn't seem on the level either. Yeah, he's shady as shit. Like, that much is obvious. Ah, uh, you're back. I am back. Hey, hey! Uh, you got some sooty armor. I do? Yo. Oh, the box came for me. Oh, the commodities? Yeah. Thank you. Good all just oh, gave yeah. it to me at once, but thank you. Two. Check the TV. We don't need the TV. It's fine. It's fine, Kronos. Like, the, cro the, cro the crossbow puzzles are one thing. I think those are new. We don't need the plan either. We should make Kari, though. Get this. Sure. Oh, homunculus was very expensive. Salvation Cannon. What the f fudge? That is a lot of money. I don't have that much money yet. But one day, it will be mine. Oh, it will be mine. Huh. 
Oh, that was the last rank, huh? Oh well, that's fine. I guess I'll stop buying all that stuff then. Kind of waste the money. Who wants to hang out today? New, new invitation? Oh, is this Dr. Death? Oh, it's Dr. Death! Huh. Okay. Should I go get an affinity reading from Makoto? Probably a good idea, right? Okay, let's go hang out with Dr. Death then. Not inviting you to the clinical trial today. I got the urge to drink some coffee. You live at the cafe, right? Can I stop after work? No one's there at night, right? Oh shit, you know what? I didn't make curry, did I? Chronos. Sorry, one second. I can come back here and make coffee. <laughs> okay, so is this gonna work? Like, if I come back here. I should save. Maybe I should save first? Oh, it's not even enough to make curry. Okay. I should write something. But I'm still gonna make, like, uh, coffee. Yeah. Yep. Make sure you close up. Hi. Is this gonna work? I'll pay you a visit then. By the way, did you know consuming caffeine stimulates your central nervous system? You may not be able to sleep tonight. Okay. Oh, where'd Kawakami go? That was absolutely delicious. Oh, thank you. I've been here a time or two, but I don't remember the coffee being so good. My girlfriend made it. Which reminds me, the new medicine will be completed soon. Your data has been extremely helpful due to your generic body type and bland health history. Thanks? You've been a splendid guinea pig. I mean, participant. Also, I'm ripped as hell. So, thanks again. By the way, how have I been doing? Have I been helpful? For your escapades with the Phantom Thieves, I mean. I mean, to be fair, when I remember to buy revive items... Yes. Uh, what? Come on, you and I both know that you were lying about needing to prepare for the entrance exams. That's true, I am a genius. I visited Oyamata in jail. A swing of fortunes like that could have only come at the hands of the Phantom Thieves. And to have it happen when it did, isn't the only logical conclusion to think that it's you? Uh, so what if it's true? A normal person would probably notify the police. Well, why? I don't care. The point is that without you, I wouldn't have been able to complete my mission. I would have never finished the new medicine while I was being deceived by Oyamata. And I would have never met any of the townspeople. I bet the Phantom Thieves save people in need. Just like doctors do, huh? I try to. So, I'll go out on a limb for you. I thought that said lamb for a second. I'm like, I don't get that. I'll have even more powerful medicine ready for you. Dope. You are my boyfriend after all. You'll use the medicine correctly, won't you? Yeah, to get high. Feel a strong ball with Takumi. I am thou. Thy body. Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of death. <laughs> Whoa! Infinite power. <laughs> Unlock the ultimate secret of death. Recent selection of revival items. Nice. All right. I mean, I just bought 40 of the ones that restore right. you. Hey, Alice! I just bought like uh, 40 of the ones that revive you for the full health, so. Hey, this is where you live, right? Uh, technically, I live upstairs, but yes. Where's your room? Upstairs? Is your guardian home? Oh, he doesn't live here. Then it's just the two of us. No, Kawakami's here somewhere. She was making me coffee. Really? Then would you like a thorough examination? Uh, yeah. I guess I'll start off by examining your eyes. Okay. I'll just have to take my time examining you. Sure. Hmm? That is actually the most intimate conclusion to a confidant we've ever had. Ha! 
Hi, Kawakami. How's it going? Hi. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I messed up in <laughs> in many different ways. Wait for a public apology? Yeah. That's gonna be something. Oh, it's Sunday. Hey, Home Shopping Network. I am starting to run low on money, aren't I? You have over a half a million yen, Kurnas. I know, but... I could have more. Give me the first one. Thank you. I'm not gonna lie, that salvation cannon doesn't sound useful. So I feel like I would never use it. No one texts me? What the hell? That's rude. I'm gonna read a book. Oh, I can't read a book. I can't read a book. I can't read a book. Can I play a game? Can I watch a movie? What movie do I have? I can't play. Ta I can't like play darts during the day, right? That'd be too convenient. I know the twins only want to hang out at night right now, so we can't do that. So. Gutsy. All right, let's go uh, finish this movie, I guess. Because why not? Oh, we never even started the movie. Why did I think we started the movie? Given an impossible task, but he kept writing until his fingers bled. Mm -hmm. Sounds like torture. Goddamn guts. Well, then. I guess tonight, if there's no one to hang out with, I can just, like, get a boost and finish the movie. But there's four people. Classic sci fi. Want to go to the movie? Back to the ninja. Ah, oh, man, I kind of want to go. But, like, I also kind of want to, like, not go. And... Is she at rank 8 or 9? Because I don't think we're done with the fortune teller. No, we have one more. So, yeah, we're going to go hang out with the fortune teller. Shall we test tonight? Uh, yeah. Let's go. Hi. Oh. Uh, last time I felt you were having trouble with women, I now I sense something different now. Anyway, anyways. Yeah, let's do a verification test. Yeah, let's hang out. Yes. So I got all the members of the ADP together and gave them a big group apology. They didn't really believe what I was saying at first, but the truth of the matter settled in eventually. It's just... However, it seems like members from the executive class are still brainwashed. In talks with the... I'm in talks with Laura right now, though. We're going to get refunds and outpatient care for all of them. I'm going to give all back all the money I made from selling Holy Stones, too. It's the least I can do to atone for the ignorance I showed back then. That's why I want you to accept this. Are you giving me my money back? Think of it not only as an apology, but a sign of gratitude for helping me see the truth. Yo! Yeah, but like, there's interest to that, by the way. Maiden, I'm so happy to see you. Yokoda. What? Yokoda-san, what are you doing here? The apology you gave us was all made up, wasn't it? Somebody had to have forced you to say that stuff. I mean, Shaman was obviously framed. Tell us the truth, please. No. None of it was made um, up. 
As for the chairman, I need you to listen to me. Everything he told you in those seminars was a lie. The promises of great future, of, of a great future, the power of the Holy Stones, the need, the need for donations, all lies. It doesn't seem, doesn't it seem strange that he kept asking members for money, even though times of financial, even through times of financial stress? And beyond that, you guys should have known better than anyone else, anyone where those donations were ending up. Mm. Even I knew how horrible the AP scheme was. That's why I had to come forward. No, that can't be true! You, you're the one who did this to our beautiful maiden! Uh, listen to what she is saying, you idiots. Shut your mouth! Mm. Please stop this, he has nothing to do with your situation. I'm the one who sold you those rocks. If you're going to get upset with anyone, it should be me. But maiden... This can't be happening. No, we must continue to place our trust in her. Please, Maiden, cleanse us of your misery! If you leave us now, we will be fated to drown in sorrow. Uh... Look, the only way you can change that is, is with your own convictions. Neither I nor the ones... Uh, n nor, neither I nor one of those worthless stones will be able to help you. But then, how are we supposed to avoid our fate in misery? No, a curse is upon us. Maiden, please! Oh, will you shut your traps? Y'all need to simmer down and listen to what I have to say for once. Whether you're gonna be miserable or not is all you know, your damn shoulders. You don't need some divine power among the jungle to be changing your fates. Y'all get that strength in yourselves. Fortune telling can't be, can't hold a candle to your honest and goodness willpower. And heck, even if things are bad now, you will all be fine as long as you keep your heads up. Oh, oh um... uh, sorry about that. All the stress caused me to lapse into my country dialect. Uh, but I stand by what I said. Nothing will ever change if you if you, all you do is rely on others. Take me for example. I thought I was destined to live as a monster, but I have the strength to reverse that fate. If you can, if you want to control your future, that's all you need: strength. The only way forward is through the fortitude of your heart, and then having like a phantom thief save your ass. My heart. It might not be the easiest thing to accomplish at first. After all, your willpower has been constantly suppressed by seminars and donations. I'm partially blame for that. I'm here with you. But that's why I need to show you the light now and help you push on. Maiden! No, I'm not your maiden anymore. I'm Chihaya Mufuni, the fortune teller who guides fate. <sighs> I mean, I think the title Maiden's pretty good. I wonder if Yukata-san and the others will be okay. I know how they feel, though. They want to cling to the, onto the Holy Stones just as I clung onto my role as maiden. All any of us wanted was to be happy, to avoid our fates. Uh, well, fate can be changed. Yeah, exactly. Right, I did it, and I'm sure you, Yokota son, you guys will be able to do so. No matter how many times I try to, uh, how, how many times I try, I will talk to them until they understand. And when they realize the difficult truth, I will be there to help them. Back in my village, people called me a monster. Here, they revered re re me as a maiden. Even now, my heart continues to wander. Yet somehow, so you, yet somehow you saw the real me. <laughs> Not the maiden, not a monster, just Chiaya. No, son, thank you. I can say it's a deep bond of tr trust with Chiaya. Woo. Okay, one more to go. All right. <laughs> By the way, now, son, has someone told you you're a bit nosy? I mean, normally someone wouldn't think to involve themselves in such a strenuous ordeal. Um. So, um, there's actually something I've been wondering for a while now. Is Fortune Down the only reason you come to see me? It's not, is it? No, I need you to increase my affinity with other people. Also, like... Um... Like, I love you? Uh, so I can be with you? Yay. What? Huh, you're joking, aren't you? No. No, I mean, of course um... I like you too. I hear you say that was just so gosh darn uh, sudden, though. Oh, I slipped back into my country dialect. Um, but... <laughs> I'm really looking forward to getting to know you better. The tarot cards might be shocked about this, though. My love fortune has been at zero for ages now. But I guess we're pretty good at changing fate, huh? Yeah, yeah. So, it's getting it's late. Just a little longer. But, um, do you think we can maybe talk a little longer? Good night. Good night. I'm a horrible person. I'm sorry for calling again, even though we only just parted ways. Thing is, well, um... I, uh, I really wanted to hear your voice, and, um... I mean, just kidding, I get you, haha. <laughs> <laughs> Dots. <laughs> uh, I want to hear your voice, too, I guess. Well, same here. But you probably figured that out, I mean, what, uh, what with 
the, the clearing of love and everything. Gosh darn it, the accent again. Uh, phew. If I listen to you any longer, I might, my heart's going to burst. But I should probably get used to that, right? I mean, I'm supposed to be the older one here. Uh, I'd like to stay with you longer the next time we hang out, so, um, that's all I wanted to say. Okay, good night. Good night. Don't let the big bugs bite, I guess. Oh, hi. What? Excuse me, but could you please repeat that? Now, nothing's been decided as of yet. But at the rate that things are going, Yoshizawa-san's honor status could possibly be revoked. Something so serious should, of course, be brought to the attention of both her parents and yourself. I've been told that her results at the latest meet were quite laudable. Isn't revoking her status as an honor student a bit of an overreaction on the school's part? Wait, what's laudable mean? I thought she did all right. Laudable, I think, I think's bad. Oh, deserving praise. No, it was good. Yeah, she did good. I mean, she sucked on the first one, sure, but she did good on the second one, right? I understand how you feel, but, well, third place doesn't really cut it in this case. I mean, the school could use all it can get at this point. Have you seen the news? She needs to attain first place results for her exceptional status to be worthwhile. Don't get me wrong here. Uh, personally, I think her results are impressive, but... I suppose the argument could be made that if she's going to represent Shujin and receive special treatment, it's not enough. What special treatment are you receiving? Please don't shoot the messenger here, okay? Uh, this is necessary to guarantee fairness across the entire student body. It's not as if you've been expelled or the like. Uh, another meet's coming soon. Please try for the results the school wants to see. Ah, fuck this school. I, I still want to burn it down. Sir, putting excessive expectations on Yoshizawa-san will only be to her detriment. Oh, that wasn't at all my intention. I just wanted to give her a little encouragement. Dr. Maruki, please continue serving the student body as counselor and providing support to Yoshizawa-san. This meeting was merely meant to express how the entire faculty will be supporting her. That's the reason I had you sit in today, Dr. Maruki. Supporting her. I see. At any rate, that's all I wanted to discuss with you today. Please keep in mind, these changes are all hypothetical, uh, unless Yoshizawa-san doesn't provide better results. Well, uh, I suppose we should wrap up. Yeah, here. you're kind of not welcome here anymore, dog. Uh, Hi. Excuse me. No, what's no hey, come what's back. What's wrong with Yoshizawa? Didn't she seem off to you? Yeah, no, it's like she just got her honor status potentially revoked in the future. How do you know that, Alex? I saw the cutscene. Oh, it's... Yoshizawa must have dropped it. Oh, we should go give it back to her. Uh, that's what I figured. Shoot, she's gone. Let's return it after school. Okay. We should at least send her a text so she knows where it is. Hmm. Maybe I left it in here. No, it's in. It's in my pocket now. Huh? How did Yoshizawa's son handle the news? She seemed pretty downcast. I think it was quite the shock to her. I truly hope this is what finally drives her to succeed. She needs to push herself beyond third place and bring home some stronger results. And soon. Vice Principal, I know I've already told you this, but your approach here is going to affect her adversely. Trying to motivate her with harsh words is only going to give her more anxiety. He's right. <sighs> Dr. Maruki, we aren't running a charity. If she's going to receive special treatment, Thank God she for needs that. to provide adequate... Let's see how you guys run a public school. It's horrible. Praising her until her head swells may be your idea of therapy, but we can't afford to just butter her up forever. We took in those sisters to improve Shujin's standing, but at this rate, we're only going to end up suffering for it. Not only have we lost one of them, but the other one's not doing us any good. Huh. Talk about a waste of effort. What a piece of shit! Uh, sir, 
So, uh, pardon me, but there's no denying. First was Mr. Kamashita, now the principal's death. We've got our backs to the wall here. Yeah, and that's all your guys' fault to begin with. Huh. If this school doesn't bounce back soon, even my own ass will be on the line. Dog, oh, your ass is on the line now if I get a choice. Excuse me. I just cannot understand. To be honest, I'm fed up with how happy people have been acting. Relatable. Stealing hearts, social reforms, don't give me this Phantom Thieves nonsense. It's all so unscientific. Also, can I burn this guy near school down yet? I mean, how could they for target Big Bang Burger and Akuma Foods? They're criminals! The, that artificial, uh, artificially constant flavor, enough volume to fill a small universe. And the fans are trying to steal the galaxy of junk food from me? You. That said no, Akun. What? <laughs> Perhaps you think you understand how vast the universe is, full of countless galaxies, but consider this. If we use three watermelons in the sun to visualize a certain matter's size against the universes, what are the watermelons? Stars. This is it. Ha, <laughs> huh, I expected as much as you. Yeah, because of my max knowledge set. They meant to convey the density of stars and the vastness of space. Three Bs is the whole... Is in the whole of Europe it also works. What? In other words, the universe is essentially empty. Yes. There are countless stars in the skies, but the universe is even more vast than that. Thankfully, you imagine being that close to all those goddamn stars? Yeah, how hot it would be! Even with all our own galaxy, the stars are separated by a great distance, despite the sheer volume of them in uh, the volume of them visible. Nice going. Yeah, I know, right? Close but far. Huh, could say the same thing about our hearts. I only knew the places we've been. You only knew the places we've been, yeah. I mean, we kind of know that things aren't going to go well for Kazumi, right? There's going to be something that leads her to us, eventually. Uh, hello? Hi. I'm sorry. You just now noticed that you tried to reach me. Do you want me to buy you a new goddamn phone? My phone since not again. Are you really a robot, Kazumi? You found my good luck charm, right? Uh, where are you? Can we meet up? Odaiba, in front of the stadium. Where we met before. She's at the stadium? Senpai, sorry, I can't hear you. I guess her signal cut out. I couldn't hear everything, but it seems like she's at the stadium. Yeah. She seemed to be acting unusually this morning, too. Do you think something happened? Did you not see that cutscene? She's depressed. Like the last time we met her there? It's possible. Well, let's see how she's doing when we drop off her good luck charm. Sure, are... To Odaiba, right? Yeah, am I, gonna, am I not gonna have a day? <sighs> no connection. We should have gotten this thing replaced You're already. not wrong! It's been like, what, six months? When did we start hanging out? I'm so used It wasn't the first month, was it? They do nothing but cause trouble for Senpai, and even Dr. Maruki. I'm supposed to be THE Kasumi Yoshizawa. Come on, I want to get a parfait. Oh, me too. Yeah, yeah, just a sec. I'm looking up a spot right now. It's supposed to be somewhere around here. Ugh, you've gotten us totally lost. I don't recognize on? any of these places. On, was that you? What's that building even supposed to be, anyway? Uh, I think they're building some kind of convention center. Or was it a research lab? Uh, I think it's a stadium. What's it matter, anyway? <sighs> it's not a lab. It's a stadium. Hmm? Oh, anime! Where are we get? Oh, where are we going? Where are we going? What the fuck? Hey, is that?
That seems about right. What the? This atmosphere. Is this a palace? I guess. But we never activated the nav. Wait. Do you think it was Yoshizawa? It had to be. I saw it on her phone. Maybe she came in too. That's very likely. She wasn't anywhere near us when we slipped into this palace. What are you talking about? She was right in front of us. She can't fight like we do. We have to find her. Fast. Sure. First, we need to find. Uh, we need to wade into this that huge Let's thing. Go. The area heading down past these gates seems suspicious to me. Let's go, Joker. Uh, I'm gonna save here because I don't know how long this area is gonna just be. So that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, one of my videos, I can check out some of the content. See if you're liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.